Iceland, renowned for its extraordinary geothermal and volcanic activity, has recently faced an unprecedented seismic challenge. This Nordic island, hosting the largest number of active volcanic systems in Europe, was struck by an astounding 700 earthquakes on a single Sunday. These seismic events culminated in the strongest earthquake within a 48-hour window, detected near the now-deserted town of Grindavik on Monday morning. The Icelandic Meteorological Office issued a stark warning indicating a persistent likelihood of an imminent eruption. This heightened state of alert has been the reality for Iceland since a surge in seismic activity and subterranean lava movements began in the area surrounding the capital Reykjavik in late October. In a comprehensive update on its website, the Icelandic Meteorological Department noted the occurrence of approximately 300 earthquakes on Sunday alone. A particularly intense swarm of these earthquakes concentrated near Grindavik, lasting just over an hour before midnight. The data from November 26th painted an even more concerning picture, with about 700 earthquakes detected near the dike intrusion north of Grindavik, highlighting the volatile nature of the region's geology. Over the last two days, the strongest of these quakes was recorded at a magnitude of 2.7, a significant level of activity that has put the region's residents and authorities on high alert. The town of Grindavik, typically bustling with its local community and tourists attracted to its unique landscape, was transformed into a ghost town last month. The evacuation was prompted by an increased seismic activity that heightened the risk of a volcanic eruption. The emergence of large chasms throughout the cityscape served as a stark visual reminder of the powerful forces at play beneath the Earth's surface. A civil protection official conveyed the urgency and unpredictability of the situation. The official noted that the current weather conditions were exacerbating the already tense scenario, reducing the already limited warning time for potential evacuations, a situation they described as unprecedented. This sentiment was echoed by Andrea, a resident of Grindavik, who shared her personal turmoil. She described the situation as surreal and likened her experience to being in a dystopian movie, struggling to come to terms with the reality of her circumstances. In a demonstration of governmental concern and support, five ministers from the Icelandic parliament made a visit to Grindavik on Friday. During this visit, evacuated residents were granted the opportunity to return briefly to gather more of their personal belongings, a small but significant gesture amidst the ongoing crisis. However, the full return of Grindavik's residents to their homes remains a distant reality. Iceland's public safety director commented on the extensive damage to the town's infrastructure. He noted it would likely be months before residents could permanently move back to Grindavik. This prolonged displacement is a testament to the severity of the natural disaster and the extensive efforts required for recovery and rebuilding. Thanks for watching.